in Smash 4, but it's a little bit more uh, putting your life on the line when you commit, because now Bayonetta, uh, it's more exasperated, exasperated than uh, Smash 4, where if she uses a bunch of specials in the air and she lands, she has a bunch of extra end lag, and a lot of her neutral is showing that ABK, showing the, uh, <laughs> the up B. But uh, we'll see yeah. how. Now, I will say that Noku's playstyle, one of the sort of one of the ways that he adapts is he pays really close attention to what opponents do in neutral when they're trying to recover, because Pokemon Trainer is a character that can, you know, actually abuse that sort of thing so well. Man, uh, but Bayonetta has arguably one of, if not the best disadvantage states in the game. Like, there aren't going to be many times where you're like, ah, yes, I have a super solid read on what you're going to do, so I can kill you at 40 with Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. you got to deal with uh, both Witch Twists. Zero to death. Yeah. It took a while. took 45 seconds, but that's a zero to death. Mm -hmm. And difficult spot to be, right? Like, if you are Noku, getting in like this, this is exactly what you want right here. Actually goes for the re-grab on that one. Perhaps not trying to look for a chase with additional moves because of that within. Um... But this is looking a lot better for Noko as we go into the second stock of his. Oh, and that bat with him not actually helping. Too little land lag on that forward tilt. And, oh man, this is where things can get scary. Bayonetta's disadvantage might be really good. But now it has to contest against Ivysaur up air. Oh, 54 damage. You know, why not? Mm -hmm. Ivysaur coming back in. Oh, actually... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that was. I definitely saw the clip on the uh, return with Vine with from Ivysaur, but I guess that might have been a misinput on that one. Uh, just going for the forward smash on that one is a very scary option because a lot of Bayonetta's options are fairly quick. That forward smash has a nice big pause in it to really mess with people's tempo. Oh, and here comes the Noku Zard. This is one of I mean, one of his underrated characters, where I see him sometimes just kill disgustingly early with this character, or sometimes he just plays neutral really well and then kills oh, just no. like that. Got I mean, caught under Pokemon Stadium. And despite how de like decisive this beginning was, we have last stock zero for both of them. Granted, some silly things have been going on for Emeralds between that uh, unfortunate down air that he had to, you know, now kind of just that getting trapped underneath PS2. <gasps> Right. It's, it's still even, though. I like the usage of AVK there, getting out of the situation, but still throwing out a hitbox and approaching. Now we're starting to see the Razor Leafs. However, they're, you know, one of those recent buffs that Bayonetta got means that when she uses Witch Time on projectiles, there is more slowdown. So throwing out those Razor Leafs willy-nilly is going to be a big risk. I, uh, speaking of risks, I actually do like that we saw the... Uh, the double slide in on that one, cognizant that it's a little too far to go for a conversion on that one. Opted to punish the landing. That forward smash almost killing, but Zard's extra weight saving Noku right there. Trapped at the ledge, the one forward tilt could probably do it. Looking for the up smash, instead it's going to be the forward throw, intercepting the flare blitz. But Noku geeks back to stage, but... Oh no, that's a big commitment. All right. Noku back at center stage. Just having to jab, maybe an up B out of shield could have actually killed, but Noku did not want to risk it. That time, the up smash, finally, I mean, that's something that I think we saw Amaryllis doing. A lot of Bayonetta's do that. The side B back from the stage, and the fact it crosses up the opponent means it's tricky to punish, but Charizard up, up smash, I mean, that thing is just doo -doo. Oh yeah, he's got the windshield wipers on, he's got uh, side to side. He's gotta have that coverage. But I will say, that does take a lot of cognizance on that one. He was immediately ready to do that. And that yeah. is a very quick move on shield. It's a very lucrative option, as you say. A lot of Bayonetta's do like to go for that, but there's a lot of other things Bayo can do to mix up and try to get back to the stage. And it's very scary when you could get tossed off and mixed. And I think it is worth sort of noting that I was saying earlier how Noku, you know, he loves to, those are kind of, that's his bread and butter of where he really excels as a player, are those types of situations where he picks up on those habits. I didn't think there were going to be many for uh, Amaryllis, but he found it, and that's actually what let him win game one. We move into game two now, and already it's doing, going better for Noku because he got 6%. Not much better <laughs> because that's it, but still better. <laughs> yeah. This is, I feel this is almost inevitable when you're playing against Bayonetta. She does have the difficulty killing. There are still a couple good moves, but at low percent, you are probably going to get hit into a combo and take a good amount of percent. It's just the matchup. I mean, it is, but at the same time, we didn't oh, see that's any no jump. stuff. Side B? Yep. It's, wow. I think that covered the jump kit up. Very good call out on that one. 
And so uh, this might be technically better for Noku, but not by much. These Squirtle combos just aren't there, really. It's yeah, like right, even right there, that should have been some big damage, but afraid to commit, I think, because of how devastating Bayonetta's reversal potential is. Mm -hmm. If you mess up against this character, it could be a Witch Twist into a lot of damage. It could be a grab into a lot of damage. It could be, honestly, pretty much anything. ABK, the slide. Themselves out. This, I think, is the percent you kind of want to feel a little bit more comfortable than Bayonetta. Her conversions start doing a little bit less. Ooh! Ooh. There's that neutral air to up B. I, you know, Milku loves to go for that. It's actually a little bit tricky to make sure that the hitboxes line up so that it actually can lead into itself. But he is just so consistent at it to the point where it don't ledge jump. Like, that's the thing. I believe that caught a ledge jump. So that long lasting mm -hmm. that neutral air is. And, uh, oh, yeah. actually swiping under the stage. We have seen that before from Noku, but really good on that one to beat out the forward smash and not deal with the uh, mix up on ledge. This is also looking like that last... Okay, great up smash, though. That's sort of the Amaryllis special, I believe, <laughs> is what some of the Long Island people have called it. Just going for that up smash. It is very... I mean, it's massive. Mm -hmm. It's real big, and not only that, it covers a really weird range for Bayo, because normally she kind of has to throw herself into the range, and if you're shielding or moving around outside of that range, you can react to a lot of stuff. Uh, that's a little bit harder to deal with. Yeah, we see Noku going for a lot of these Razor Leafs, by the way, trying to look for a Razor Leaf. Confirm there is inherent risk to that. You know, we haven't really seen Emerilus throw out uh, the Witch time, but maybe, you know, sort of saving that thing for a later stage in the game. Yeah, it only needs to be once for it to make a very big impact. All right, I do oh. like that, trying to call out the ABK. Actually had a good call, but just not on time with Amaryllis, but he will get the throw to seal the sock. Moving down to 1-1. One, one. Oh, Pat within that frame one air dodge coming out to really help Amaryllis. That could have been huge damage. Again, it helps him it, to avoid these big combo starters that Noku is managing to land. All way off stage and already taking 92%. Yeah, I like the patience on that one. No big rush to get back on stage, but this is a very scary place to be. Bayonetta does have a kill on the forward throw. A lot of options you can do. I'm gonna toss off stage though, and then Noku has the chance to do something with Charizard. Wow, I think Noku's SDI because he seems to be falling out of those uh, those witch twists and that sort of thing. Uh, but I like to switch to Charizard. I think at those percents there were maybe some things that uh, Emeraldus could have done to just kill. Uh, going to Zard, you know, that survivability really can be helpful. Unfortunately, now trapped at the corner. <gasps> Had oh. the correct read. The spacing was just a little bit off on that back air, but it was a correct call out on the air dodge. Congrats, you're at death percent, Emeraldus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no Falco conversion off that up tilt. That's not <laughs> happening here. Oh, and that's almost doing it. One more of those up smashes. It's a little stale, but it might still do the trick. Oh, is that going to be it? No, up pair is that has to be the option. Oh, no. I felt it coming, too. As soon as that up smash was, I'm like, he's going to go for the ground. It's not going to work. The Zard up B. Oh, the up Don't smash. <gasps> oh, actually living at max rage charge. No way. Uh, the other side? Oh, well, it is 200%, but... I don't think I've ever seen it send quite like that before. So the heel drop gonna seal it on that one. What a survival on that up smash. That's nutty. Yeah, no, great survival, but also I think it's worth dwelling on the survival of Noku. I mean, the fact that I think in game one also lived to some very high percents. And yeah, in the end, I, th I feel like Noku thought he won. Mm -hmm. The only reason that up smash didn't kill was because it had been staled. I think he had landed three of them already. And that might have been the third. Oh. Uh, if that was fresh, it probably would have killed. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I'm sure uh, some good DI coming out from Amaryllis as well. Going to take it to a game three. Ooh, forward smash. <sighs> All right, this is going to be a good amount of damage, but if you're going to get hit by that, it's better at low percent and not getting gimped. All right, Squirtle combos, you know, it's just a 1-2 right now, but that's <laughs> this is so far the best start that Noku has had. And keep in mind, he won game one. Game two was super duper last hit. So this is looking pretty decent for him at the moment. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's still... Not terrible for Bayonetta because her combo game does so much damage, but the more she accrues, the more likely it is that she's going to get knocked out before she can find a kill with her... Uh, <gasps> I saw a jump. Okay. okay. The kill confirms. Nair to come back down. 
A nice call, very big hitbox, multi-hit, so you can't parry it on the way down. He had no invincibility, but Noku actually went for the forward air instead of the down air. <gasps> oh, there's the down air, and now we have, for the first time this set, Noku takes stock one. Let's see if he can do much with it. Mm -hmm. That was a solid call out right there. Going for the double jump backer to call out a jump onto stage. Uh, there's not too much that Bayonetta can do when you go high, except make a hard call out. Oh, and that's oh, the drop <laughs> again. Once yeah. more, that survivability from Charizard at 157. Amaryllis is actually struggling to find some way to end it. Up throw's not going to really be doing much, and one commitment like that, back air almost kills? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so risky to throw out those smashes. They are not active as nearly as long as they might look. And this all happened because of that... Uh, Smash attack just not sealing the deal. This is a lot of extra percent to take, and Emerus is still not back to neutral. He's ah, dead. That's a lot of extra percent. That is an entire stock that Noku has managed to take. First time he takes a stock first, and already he's turned it into two. Another one of those down airs, but that one actually not going to be killing without any rage on Bayo. And just like that, even more percent. All right, that's a good way to get back into this. Although now at lower percent, Squirtle once again becomes very dangerous. <laughs> The way <laughs> I do actually like the witch twist on that one. It's very difficult for a lot of characters to contest that hitbox. Um, so if you're going to get out of the situation and throw out a hitbox, might as well use the upbeat. What was that? Oh, he beats the air dodge. Tries to go for down air, but Emeralist is drifted just a little bit too wide. And oh, things can go really awry here. Putting Noku off stage. He has to burn his jump and that actually helps him make it back. But man, Emeralist fighting. That's, that's the classic, the booster kick back to mid-stage to the back air. I thought we were going to see it again there. Oh no, throw not having enough range, that might be a really big deal off stage. got to guess. <laughs> Trapped in the corner, we see Noku threatening that back air, he's facing away. But just because he's threatening that back air doesn't mean he's actually looking for something like a grab into up throw. Oh, I saw the opening frames of that aerial. Yeah, and the Charizard side, he gets it back to the middle of the stage, but for how long? Ooh, going deep on that one. And nice. nice! Oh, last stock for both players. You know, last time around, Noku was the one sitting at very high percent on his last stock and managed to survive. And let's not forget, Bayonetta has comeback power! The potential! No that's way! It. What a chase! That was exactly what Amaryllis needed. <sighs> it's what? always, it's every single time that a Bayonetta takes anyone high up towards the corner, it's always going to feel like this combo because of things like this. You never want to be hit by that. He, he what? <laughs> Wait a I need a around. replay on that. Oh my God. And see, the thing is, is we saw, it is very difficult, right? To mount an offense when you are down like this, it is your last stock. You can just be slammed by anything. The we whole saw... thing started from like the stage. That wasn't mm -hmm. even like he started it on a platform and or anything like that. What was Noku going to do? Swing Tech. back, maybe. He could have Yeah, well, <laughs> that, that, was a little, that was a little far back. That was like a couple could chapters ago. Could he have done ago. Switch? Potentially switch or air dodge on that one and it is a big commitment But I think what we saw earlier on and this happened too with um, you were seeing Ivysaur do the nares off stage We saw that early on to counter bullet arts to try to recover a little bit easier, but uh, Amaryllis went on the offensive went super deep Which is again very scary to do when you are one hit away from death at any given time